Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna talk about common problems that you have with Milky Way photos. Here in this video, the second video is specifically focused on light pollution, how to reduce or erase the light pollution. Now, as you can see, we are in Bridge, so I'm gonna use Camera Raw. But if you prefer Lightroom, the tools has the exact same name and they are a little bit misplaced, but it, the result will be exactly the same. Let's go fix the light pollution. So this is a medium-sized city over here and it's casting a light pollution over here. If the Milky Way was around here, it would disappear. Now, some curiosity. When I was color correcting, I completely ignored this area over here because the light pollution, it's... If you try to collect the color for both sides at the same time, it won't work. Just focus on the area of the Milky Way and ignore the light pollution area, okay? Now, I'm gonna reduce extremely the light pollution area so you can visibly see what is happening. But in my point of view, adding a little bit of night pollution, it's natural because there is a city there. You can see it, it's there and it has some degree of color also to the landscape and also to get rid a little bit of these areas, uh, color areas, as you can see here. Let me just try to pump up a little bit the saturation so you can see what is happening. Let me, oh, there is some purple here and some blue, some purple, so the colors are not well mixed. This technique also will get a little bit rid of that problem. What you're gonna use to reduce this is the gradient tools, G, and I'm gonna use this very, very aggressively. So I'm gonna pick up from here all the way around here. So quite big area as so. Immediately it's fixing the problem because I already used this gradient filter to remove the noise of this image before filming this. Uh, let me just reset this over here so you guys can see what I am doing. And if you want to see which area is selecting, you can press Y and you can see the effect, the area that is affecting as so. If you want to change the color of this, uh, you can press here the color picker shows up, you can select, for example, red. I really like green because the green is pretty damn well visible on darker images. The degree D of this gradient tool should be extremely long, as so. Nice, let's press Y to hide this mask. If you don't want to see the tools here on, on the top of the image, you just press V, it disappears and press V again to uh, reappear if you need so. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it on so you guys can see what it's happening. It's purple color that I don't like. The opposite of purple is green. So let's play here with, a little bit with the tint color. Okay, it's getting rid of the tint color but it's adding another problem it's adding the blue color uh, the yellow color so i don't want the yellow to show up just a just, just a little bit yes i'm gonna push this a little bit further away and as you can see also the saturation it's pumping up you can reduce a little bit the saturation if you want there we go looking way better it's a little bit way too aggressive for my own taste, but I'm gonna reduce a little bit. There you go. It's still a little bit way too much for my own taste, but I'm gonna leave it as is for the sake of this tutorial. Now, this thing is affecting also everything else that it's on its path, as you can see over here. I don't want that. So we have this magic tool that is an eraser make sure that the flow is all the way to 100% and the size you can play with it by right clicking like so and change the size so I'm gonna go for one a little bit slower and the feather it's way too aggressive I'm gonna add it a little bit smaller as so and the cool thing is this works as the brush in Photoshop that means that I can click here okay and press shift and click here and we'll make a straight line so up up 
there you go now it's only affecting this area over here now there is some purple that i want to get rid of on this clouds over here so again i can use add selection tool again the flow i'm going to reduce a little bit the flow because i don't want to add it way too much the feather it's way too much and the size it's way too big now a cool thing is that you can activate the auto mask so it tries to make a mask on where you are clicking sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so your experience may vary okay i'm gonna unselect the auto mask just press m and oh it's looking really bad let me just put this flow really small and this really small as so now that this this is really bad it's going really bad here so i'm gonna uh, activate this bad boy activate the mask and try to reduce a little bit try to get as more natural as you can for this tutorial sake i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna press y to see how we have it so if you want to get in depth on this really purple magenta color over here on the sky you have a very powerful tool that is the range mask now let's select the range mask and let's go to color okay and now i'm gonna use the the sample color and select an area just be careful to not select an area with a star click and drag and select this color sample over here much much better if i press here to show up the mask you can see that it's selecting a good range and we can add even more by pressing shift on the keyboard and select this area over here much better now let's try to remove or add depending on your own taste and let's see what we are doing now i can be a little bit more aggressive here with the color temperature there we go I don't know if you can see the difference, but it has a little bit of a difference. Maybe if, if I select a little bit more. So yeah, let's select a little bit more. Hopefully we are not flying too close to the sun. Let me see what you are doing here. Still looking good. Well then, there we go. How easy and simple is that? I really hope that that improves your photos. If you learned something, please drop a like, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Hey Miguel, until next time, see ya. Why you use two hands? See ya.